Have you ever heard about the WOW signal from 1977? This was an unexpected and remarkable event, a burst of radio waves that came from the depths of space and was detected right here on Earth. On August 15, 1977, the Big Ear Radio Observatory in Ohio was the stage for this intriguing discovery. Dr. Jerry R. Eamon, a volunteer for the SETI project, was the one to first lay eyes on the data printout that displayed this fascinating anomaly. The signal was loud, clear, and unlike anything the scientists had encountered before. It wasn't the usual cosmic noise we tend to pick up from our galaxy. Instead, it was a sharp, intense burst of energy that lasted for a full 72 seconds, the exact duration of the Big Ears observational window. The WOW signal was a unique one-off event that still puzzles scientists today. The mystery of its origin continues to captivate us, stoking the fires of our curiosity and our quest to understand the universe we inhabit. The date was August 15, 1977, a day that would be etched in the annals of astronomy. Working the late shift at Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Observatory, Jerry Amon was monitoring the skies, as he had done countless times before. The observatory's mission was simple, to listen, listen to the cosmos, the stars, the galaxies far beyond our own, to listen for a sign, a signal, anything that might suggest we are not alone in this vast universe. On this particular shift, something unusual happened. Among the routine streams of cosmic noise, a strong, narrowband radio signal appeared on the printout. The signal seemed to hail from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, and it lasted for a full 72 seconds, the full duration that the big ear could monitor any given point in the sky. It was a moment of pure astonishment. Amon, a seasoned observer, was taken aback by the anomaly. The signal was strong, 30 times louder than the typical ambient noise of deep space. It was also remarkably close to the 1420 megahertz frequency, a frequency astronomers long associated with extraterrestrial intelligence due to its relation to hydrogen, the most common element in the universe. As he stared at the alphanumeric sequence printed on the paper 6 EQWJ5, each character representing the intensity of the signal, Eamon could hardly believe what he was seeing. The excitement was palpable, the implications tantalizing. Could this be it? Could this be the signal they had been waiting for, the proof of extraterrestrial intelligence? In a moment of awe and disbelief, Eamon grabbed a nearby pen. Beside the unique sequence, he wrote a single word that perfectly encapsulated his astonishment. Wow. The signal from then on would be known by this exclamation. Eamon, a seasoned observer, was so impressed by the signal that he wrote WOW in the margin of the printout, hence the name the WOW signal. The discovery of the WOW signal sparked an intense investigation. At the forefront of this probing journey was an impassioned effort to identify the source of this mysterious signal. Astronomers, scientists, and investigators, both amateur and professional, found themselves drawn into the mystery. They turned their telescopes towards the heavens, straining to catch a repeat of the signal, a similar burst of radio waves that could provide a clue, a hint, anything that could lead them to the source. But the cosmos remained silent. No such repeat signal has been detected, adding yet another layer to the mystery. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence better known as SETI, also got involved in this intriguing quest. An organization dedicated to the hunt for signals from intelligent extraterrestrial life, SETI threw its considerable resources and expertise into the ring. They scrutinized the data, analyzed the signal, and explored every possible angle, but to no avail. The question of terrestrial or satellite origin also came under the microscope. Could the WOW signal have been the result of some human-made interference or a rogue satellite passing by? Again, the answer was a frustrating no. The signal's frequency, its duration, and the fact that it was observed in just one of Big Ear's two feed horns ruled out any terrestrial or satellite origin. This was not the hum of an earthly machine or the chatter of a wayward satellite. This signal was something else, something alien. The investigation was thorough, exhaustive, and rigorous, leaving no stone unturned in the pursuit of the truth. Yet despite all the efforts, all the sleepless nights and countless hours of data analysis, we are still left with more questions than answers. The WOW! Signal as intriguing and mysterious as ever, continues to baffle and bewilder us. Despite rigorous investigation, the source of the WOW signal remains unidentified. Over the years, many theories have been proposed to explain the WOW signal, each more intriguing than the last. 
The most tantalizing of all is the possibility that the signal was a communication from extraterrestrial intelligence. Imagine, a message from a distant civilization reaching out across the cosmic void. This theory captured the public imagination, but proving it is another matter entirely. Another theory posits that the signal was the result of a natural space phenomenon. The WOW! Signal's frequency was close to that of hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. Could a massive, distant hydrogen cloud have produced the signal? It's a possibility, but it doesn't quite explain the signal's brief duration and singular occurrence. In recent years, a new hypothesis has emerged. The signal was the result of a passing comet. This theory suggests that the signal was caused by a comet's hydrogen cloud, which was not known to emit radio signals at the time of the WOW signal's detection. Yet, attempts to replicate the signal using this theory have so far proved unsuccessful. Each theory has its merits and its mysteries. None have been conclusively proven and each raises new questions. Was it a message from the stars? A natural phenomenon we don't yet fully understand? Or perhaps something entirely different? Each theory brings its own questions and the WOW signal continues to be a subject of debate. So, what does the WOW signal mean for us today? Its impact reverberates through the decades, fueling the ongoing search for extraterrestrial intelligence. This unexpected blip in the radio frequency spectrum has become a beacon for scientists, sparking curiosity and encouraging bold questions about our place in the cosmos. For mystery lovers, it's a tantalizing puzzle, a cosmic whisper hinting at possibilities beyond our understanding. The WOW! Signal! A mystery from the depths of space remains an unsolved mystery, reminding us of the vast unknown universe waiting to be explored. Thanks for tuning in, Weirdsville dwellers. Brace yourselves for more bizarre tales every Wednesday at 3 p.m. EST. If you haven't joined our community yet, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop with the weirdest happenings in Weirdsville. Until our next rendezvous, never stop questioning the unknown and keep that curiosity of yours burning bright. Farewell for now.